our project for today is to make that come into this building. There's a drum in my drumsticks. <laughs> I've had to camouflage it to keep it away from my wife. So much for my dramatic uncovering. I don't see a drill mark one on this stupid table. <laughs> I mean, no novice. No messing around with it. No novice used it. All right. First thing we need to do is round up some pipes and round up and take the uh, trailer ramps and put them out. Find your come along. You find a come along, get the bar. Hire three guys, laborers, to come over here and do this while we supervise. I ran a forklift one of you. I ran a forklift. I don't think we need a forklift for just this one machine. If I was doing a, another grinder or something too, yeah. it's just too much. No, so what, what I want to do is I want to put both of the ramps over here, side by side. I'm going to tie, come along to that end and over here, put some pipes under it and swivel it around. Put a bridle on the back with a come along uh, chain hoist. And uh, I think life will be good. Go find some stuff. I'd like to do Don is take a chain one of those chains there and go over hook it on that side and then this side here and make a V that this can hook into and then we'll put a smaller strap around the column base and then that way we can uh, pivot it around keep control of it without falling down. Could be cool. Yeah, forklift. If we put a forklift. Cool. You're the one that told me not to go get one. No, but it would be cool. It would be cool. We hooked it over on this side. That way when we get it, it'll be straight down. Of course we're gonna be readjusting those. Yeah, I think that's the yeah. pivot logical it. place. Pivot it, yeah. I doubt this little coolant pump has ever been used.
think this thing's working. What we've done is we put a strap around that column, do a chain deadfall, and chained it all the way over here. Now, we're going to hook all this up to that. We can take and hook it through a pin through that uh, bolt down. Yeah, that's what I was saying, that pin fits through that hole. Then we use this chain. You don't want to get it, pick it up at the bar and get, get it off of these things first? Uh. Rather than it being all floppy when it falls off of there? Let's go find out what kind of pipe we have to stick underneath there. And then we can kind of judge what would be the better solution for this application. Smaller pipe because they, they get a flat spot in them from the heavy weight on them. I like solid bars. Yeah, big pipe right there. So that's almost the same height that'll work. Yep, we can just continue pulling it over and then adjusting these as we need to. Yeah. I cut my beard today. Yeah. My wife says, look like the wild man from Borneo. <laughs> my hair still looks like it. I ain't cutting that myself. Um, maybe I push it all the way up against like this since it's going to end up turning. Well, one of the things I kind of noticed is we need to put something here against the trailer wall so that As we pull from that area, it's probably going to pull it back this way some. And we don't want it to be right up against the trailer. So what I can do is take a piece of like this. this is right there. Put that there. Oh look, someone left a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew here. Dang. That was kind of them. Okay, that gives us a point there. I think if we leave that there and start pulling and then just add to it as we go, when we get it around here, If you put, put that one right here in the back straight, we can get it on two of them. And one of them will already be pointed the right direction. Yeah. I'm just afraid that once we get it over here off this three quarter inch plywood, it needs to be rolling better. So, let me go see if I can find some scrap. Looks like maybe a Morris Taper 3 on it for the chaps. Whatever it is, it's a professional one. Until mm -hmm. lumber prices would have went, went sky high, I would have not. I'd just go cut a piece of plywood. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. It's OSB. OSB, $37 a sheet. 
These are uh, quarter inch pieces. That's fit. It makes three of them. I make those for wooden boxes when I ship straight edges, but I haven't shipped a straight edge since all this yeah. mess started. So it's going to be a little dirty on this side. <laughs> They yeah. say we give it a shot. Let's get it over at least and then we can stick another one right here. Would you move that? Cleopatra would be proud of us. She'd probably kill you as a slave, though. Eh. Me? Yeah. I don't know. I'd be a musician. I'd have You'd it be the musician? I'd have it easy in the palace to play music. And I'd be out building pyramids. That's it? Yeah. I would uh, Can get off that piece of wood first. Well, we're going to be transferring the weight to this one in the front, and then that's where it needs to be in the first place. I think we'll be fine. That one there. Well, we're at a point that we need to do another thing. The uh, <coughs> the trailer is going to lift up on that tongue if we transfer too much of the weight back here. It did last time when you had the lead too. We well, we put it, we're going to go get it. underneath here to keep it from going all the way down. Yeah. Let's see what this block can do. The heavy part's still going to be over the back wheel, even if you pivot it right now. I just want to go move the, uh, I want to go move the tractor in. What I really like to do is put some blocks under here. So take the done. crank the trailer up mm -hmm. and then put the tractor on top of it to hold it from going up. That's what we did for the 16th. Yep. And it worked okay. And it so. worked fine. Well, I have some more pieces for here.
Well, this thing luckily has a really low center of gravity. Yeah. I mean, this plate. That's what's helping. This plate was added to this. Because in the, the manuals, I see this table and I see a tilt table. And the thing that got me was this paint right here. It matches everything. Yeah. And then I found the label with the paint and the paint color from when they repainted this thing. I was shocked that it's repainted. I mean, it is a professionally done job. All the screws are taken out and painted and put back in. They work. I mean, it looks like it came from the factory. I'm not really sure. I, I like that color. Yeah, it's a good color. All right. I mean, as long as we're painting machines, my, my quandary is should we go with that color or what? It's up to you. You're going to be doing all the painting, so. I'll spray whatever color you put in there. All right. I think we're ready to go. We've got the tractor holding down the front. We've got blocks on that. That makes that ramp nice and easy. Yeah. You can let gravity roll it on in. Okay. Pull it over a little bit and then put this other one up. Kick it out with the sledgehammer, maybe. Got this much more on it. Block. Either that or let it ride on the whole thing. I don't know if it'll slide though. I'd rather get it down level. I think it's the best way. Try and knock it out with the sledgehammer. Well, the only place it's touching is down here. I think I'm going to pull it forward a little bit more. And then that way this chain fall will be tight. Yeah, so it and then take my uh, pry bar and pick it up and then just pull it out. Okay. Be closer to... It'll be getting tight any minute. You know, I think those Egyptians would be proud of us. Hmm. Need a block. I think it's okay to ride on that for right now. It will be because it's going to be transferring. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this pipe underneath, or this bar. And that won't let it go all the way down. So let me pull on and come along at the same time. Yeah. 
reset. You pull it from the bottom of that 16, it ain't going nowhere. I don't even know if we need to pull it very much. Well, it, just, it ain't going to slide until it gets off that board. Right, but aren't we close to being off the board? No. Still got another two foot. Well, then let's reset to that peg over there. And the problem is that it'll start crushing it when it gets there. We can we can drag the back around a little bit. It's still we need to have like six inches. Mm -hmm. so I don't like pipe. That's all you got. It's it's what you got. You wouldn't buy me anything for Christmas. Need a stick of this for Christmas. Oh no. If we get this dang thing off the bar, or the back end here, we, we would be okay. Yep. So, um, like I'm saying, just straighten it out a little bit in the back. Here. If we go back, then we will be tilted tilting it and this would come up so we could put a pipe under it. So I'd like to leave it where it is so we can get a new pipe under it, but take it off of that board there. And so we need some blocks to When I do this, yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I didn't so, straddle the board. Okay. Okay. One more time. You want to try places? You want to put a pipe under there first? See if the pipe is it? I don't think it will. You could, but I think I just want to get it down. Okay. I think it'll be okay. Picked you up there. See, I told you I was losing weight. <coughs> Pick me right up. There you go. Well, All right. You don't, you don't weigh 4,000 pounds. Though. I don't weigh that I'm, much. I'm impressed. I think it weighs about 4,500. This little plate right there, I haven't figured it up, but that's inch and three quarter or two inch. Yeah, that's, that's heavy. It's maybe 45 inches by 32. Slide that all the way in. Yeah. 
right there. and just try and inch it? I think so. strap around here. Just a little bit. Don't need much. I think that would go before that's going to go. Uh, maybe. Well, Being on rollers. We can just try it. Being on blocks right here. Don has this great idea. Hey, I didn't say it was great, it's just an idea. Maybe all this old lay's good for. Hey, boat anchor. Boat anchor. Well, you know, that's a long way. We got better here with it. thing painted and out of the way we wouldn't be having That's true. You need to you need to get it cleaned and masked before I can paint it. Remember that was the deal. You mask it I paint. We gotta make sure it's worth saving. Alright. Here you go. Hold on. 
Hold on, wait, 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 wait. There you go. You have to go for it. But I gotta get it. There you go. There we go. That'll work. Moving the trailer. No, it must. It must three inches. You guys are not watching what we're doing here, are you? No, I admit it. It's working. It's working. You're one of them kind of guys. A lot of needs a lot of reinforcement, self gratification. Not really. Thing. No. It's moving, it's moving. <laughs> All I know is I'm back to being one of the 10,000 slaves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Well, I want to look at this first, though. Like these little baby bumpers. I'd have to come this way some first. Well, it should pull it away this way a little bit. I think. At that angle. You may have to, what I'd like to do is get it to the end of the trailer mm -hmm. and then reset uh, okay. everything on that come along so that when we get to that point, then we'll have enough chain to come all the way off with it yep, okay. without having to reset. Okay. Now, this piece of pipe. Proceed, sir. Doesn't, doesn't, this, oh, doesn't this pipe need to come all the way to here? Not yet. No? Okay. Okay. We're not even up on it.
Let me slide it around as much as I can, and then we'll pick could, it up and reposition the, them. Yeah, you could kick with the, a bar. You could kick the back end over a little more too. Well, to get it more of an angle to go. By hitting those pipes, I'm flaring that end out, and it's not going to roll as nice. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm going to pull this over here as much as I can, mm -hmm. and then I'll pick this up. And we'll reposition it. Okay. Well, well, you guys can't see over there. Whoa. You be careful of your fingers. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. I can two, see three. how much I got on that. End. You're fine. Okay. That should be enough to tilt it as much as you Now let's see. I'm still on over there. Yep. And there. Straighten this one out here in the middle up. When I pick it up, we'll straighten it and put it in the middle. It's in the middle here, but it's on the edge of it. Well, we'll straighten it up and put it in the middle. Other one straight to the middle. All right, there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. Push it in from the side, please. Get it back behind that. Uh, that. 
Can't let it get past this bar here. Hit the wall before we get there. No, I meant uh, once we straighten it up, yeah. so that the uh, stairs, stairs will come down. Yeah. All right. I think we should do. Yep. The one in the front, huh? Yeah, one, yeah. Need one in the front. Then you want to turn it straight first. Let's turn it straight first and let's roll it to where you want it. Well, what I'd like to do here, I'd like to come up about another six inches and then start turning it. Okay. But I'm afraid that we need to put one up underneath here mm -hmm. and have it sticking out farther this way than the other side so we can slide it over. Yeah. Is it through? No. Keep going. Keep going. More, 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 more. Keep going. Uh, a little bit more. Dang, That's well, good. You, you ain't got much here. Now, do now angle it to the left. Go back some farther. Now I can get a little bit more. Okay. Come on down. I can do a little bit. last two rollers to the right position. That's what, we want. That's what I was doing. All right, go down. Go, go towards the front. Yeah, I am. Go down. Need to go eat lunch. Need to move this middle one. Now. I can. This one here is not doing you much good. Get up closer to the middle. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. When you put them 
like that on that angle. It'll roll that way a little bit for you. You about to pop off this back side here. See here? You about to slip into the off now, that edge room. I'm fixing to roll it over. I think it's going to give me enough to push it all the way over. to the wall. No. away from the wall, right? Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah. Come up about another six inches that way. Tonight, last night wouldn't have been good. That's good. That's six inches. Come look at it, see if you want. <coughs> I think that'll come down. Yep. She be there. Temporary. But she be there. she sits in her new temporary home give you a little guided tour I am not even going to try to pronounce that Verkstad Holtzfried Sweden I've got Sweden looks like it was built in 1969 Little bit of the controls here this is your speed or for your depth you can change the the travel for the depth of cut this is like I think it was like 0.07 or something like that 0.007 this locks the head this is the manual feed for coming up and down you see the also these arms right here are turning the same time they're kind of stiff but versing and everything 
your uh, speed chart. Another button over here on the end. This goes in and out. This is the manual control for uh, that screw right there and it was just like butter. This locks the column swing. And the control down there. I'll get it plugged in and show you what's going on. I truly think that this table is added. That table right there, you can't see it very well, is what the, the manual shows it coming with. It makes sense because we use coolant and it would go down in that trough. I think they added this later. Like I said, they, they painted it around the edge and, and I thought it was factory. In fact, they did such a nice job on the paint that I thought it had never been painted. The clutch for the drill, you can adjust. Nice machine. Built-in coolant. But if you use coolant on this, it's going to go everywhere. Let's see what we can do. Don, you've made a mess of my trailer again. I'm hungry. Let's go eat something. I'll feed you. That'll Take work. you to Fuego's. Fuego's will work. Look how much the trailer is ready. Yeah. Risen off those blocks once the weight came off. Yeah, I had that all the way down. And we've got the jack underneath it and the tractor holding it down. So let's go eat and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.